Welcome to this tutorial on customizing the styling of Q-Slider using CSS and Qt. In this video, we'll be exploring how to modify the appearance of a horizontal slider widget by applying custom CSS styles. To begin, let's take a look at how to style the groove of the Q-Slider. The groove is the track where the slider's handle moves along. Here's the CSS code you can use to modify its appearance. As you can see, we're setting a 1px solid border and adjusting the height to 2 pixels. This gives the group a subtle border and a sleek look. Next, let's move on to styling the slider handle. The handle is the draggable part of the slider that users interact with. Here's how you can customize its appearance. In this code, we're setting the handle's background color to a dark gray, hashtag 2a2a2a, adjusting its width and margins for positioning, applying a rounded border radius of 5 pixels for a smooth look, and adding a 1px solid border for additional definition. Moving forward, we have the slider segments, the areas representing the selected and unselected portions of the slider. Let's see how to style them. In this code, we're applying a linear gradient to the add page segment, creating a gradient effect from light gray, hashtag B1B1B1, to slightly darker gray, hashtag C4C4C4. For the subpage segment, we're setting a solid dark gray background. In the style 2, all the style code is same as style 1, except add hover effect. When the user hovers over the handle of a horizontal slider, the background color changes to a vibrant blue, hashtag 007add9, and the border color also updates to match the new background color.